Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Ocean City, New Jersey. And the reason why we are in Ocean City, New Jersey today is because I wanted pizza. I came all the way down here just to get myself some Manko and Manko pizza. Probably, maybe my all-time favorite pizza. One of, if not, my all-time favorite pizza. Manko and Manko pizza. If you guys have ever had it, leave a comment down below. Let me know about how delicious, or maybe not delicious, you actually think the pizza is, what is this? Somebody, oh no, somebody lost their keys here. That is a shame. Hopefully they, hopefully whoever that is, finds their keys. But the reason again, why I came out here today was because I wanted to get pizza. But I want to show you guys something pretty awesome, something pretty amazing. And it's not this really cool looking gun right here. I mean, take a look at this. And dedication and remembrance to the U.S. Navy seamen who gave their lives aboard the USS Arizona at Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. So is this from the USS Arizona? I'm guessing maybe possibly it is. Look at that, that giant gun right there. That thing is intense, that thing is insane. There's also an anchor right here as well. Maybe also from the USS Arizona. I'm not entirely sure. This could just be any old anchor, any old gun from any old ship, or maybe it's a replica. I don't even know. I'm, I'm assuming they are real, they are legit and maybe possibly from the USS Arizona. If you guys actually know, leave a comment down below. The, the little inscription there is kind of, sort of not really telling. It doesn't really let you know if it actually is from the USS Arizona or just a rem remembrance of those who did pass away on the USS Arizona. I'm gonna say probably from the ship, maybe, possibly. Look at this, the Ocean City War Memorial. In grateful memory to the men and women from, the com from this community who served in the armed forces of the United States during any wars and a listing tribute to those who gave their lives in the service of their country. Look at the eagle up there. That's pretty awesome looking. So this here is the Ocean City War Memorial. Not what it is I actually want to show you guys today, but I figured we start the video over here because it's interesting. It's pretty cool. But again, the big giant gun there, which is pretty awesome, and the anchor, which is also pretty awesome as well. But what I want to actually show you guys is located across the street, something pretty amazing. So for those of you who do not know, Ocean City is actually a Christian based, well, Methodist, Christian Methodist based town. It was actually formed by Methodists who came out here and set up a religious camp, a, a Christian retreat camp. That's how Ocean City came to be. It used to be a place for Native Americans, and it used to be a place for farming, and it used to be a place for like raising cattle, and apparently whaling was like done here and whatnot. So there was a lot of stuff that happened before this, but the main reason why Ocean City is the town it is today, we're gonna cross the street, hopefully not get hit. The re main reason why Ocean City is the town it is today is because of this Methodist Christian retreat that came out here and set up camps and had meetings out here. And they had these meetings under a tr tall, I think it was, was it cedar? A tall tree, a very tall, large tree that was out here that actually still kind of somewhat stands. And I say kind of, sort of, somewhat stands because unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's actually living anymore. But the actual like, I would say not stump, but the, um, I don't know, the, the sort of base of the tree, if you will, still actually resides inside the Ocean City Tabernacle. So in here, Unfortunately, I don't think we can actually see it. The windows are, are very much blacked out. And I did check the doors, they all are locked. But supposedly inside the actual tab tabernacle here in the, in the lobby is the actual tree trunk from that tree. I've seen photos of it. Apparently they light it up with like Christmas lights and stuff. So it's in here, displayed in here, which is pretty awesome because that's where the original congregation met and where the original meetings took place underneath the tree, underneath the tree trunk that's still inside there. So again, the tree has died. It's no longer living, but it's pretty awesome. At least I'm pretty sure it's dead and no longer living from picture, pictures I've seen. It's just a, a dead tree trunk inside there. But from pictures I've seen, it's still inside there. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. I'd love to go inside and actually take a look at it and show it to you. But unfortunately, we can't do that because, um, well, it is, it is closed. The tabernacle, is not open. I kind of miss the days of churches just being always open, no matter what time of day it is. You could go inside a church and do whatever it is you wanted to do, which maybe was the issue because, you know, the churches would stay open. So you could go inside and pray or do whatever religious thing you needed to do or talk to somebody or kind of get help or whatever. But I'm sure, as I said, go into a church and do whatever it is you want to do. I'm sure some people probably weren't doing very good things. And that, that's why 
you just don't have churches that are really open to the public just 24 hours a day anymore. Look at these really cool bike racks. These are awesome. They actually look like bicycles. Pretty awesome. So the tabernacle is pretty neat. And even though I don't go to this tabernacle, I've never been to this tabernacle, it is really awesome. The fact that this tabernacle, I'm gonna say, how many times am I gonna say tabernacle in this actually, church? How many times am I gonna say tabernacle in this video? Probably 47,000 times. Comments down below if you've actually counted how many times I have said tabernacle in this video. But it's pretty awesome that the tree still sort of stands inside there. That is really, really awesome. And it kind of holds a, a special place in my heart, if you will, mainly because this is where I've been parking for so many years. So many years I've been coming down here with friends and family and whatnot. And every time I come down here, I always park in this general vicinity. I always check, park in this, this general area because parking here is free and you have to walk maybe like four blocks to the actual boardwalk and you're all the way down at the very end of one of the boardwalks. So there's a lot of walking involved if you're going to park down here, but it's free parking and that's much better than the crazy just amounts that they charge for, for meters and the crazy amounts they charge for parking lots. It's kind of nuts. So I prefer to park down here. So like I said, the tabernacle kind of holds a special place in my heart because for years, this is where I've been parking my my vehicles. And there's something really, really awesome here. So pretty awesome tabernacle. Again, the history of Ocean City, the beginnings of the town of Ocean City, New Jersey, all started because of this tabernacle, of the, the actual congregation who came out here, who set up camp out here, did these religious camps out here, these Christian camps out here in Ocean City. And from that started the actual town of Ocean City, New Jersey. They named it Ocean City, New Jersey, which is pretty awesome. And that's why today, Ocean City, New Jersey is a dry town. You cannot actually buy alcohol from anywhere in this town. This is a dry town, no alcohol. You can get alcohol from outside the town, but you can't get alcohol alcohol inside the town. And it's all because of the Christian beginnings and the Christian, uh, like, it's the fact that this is a sort of a Christian town because because of the, like I said, Christian beginnings of the town, I suppose is what I'm trying to, to say. So pretty awesome story of history of Ocean City, New Jersey. But there is something really, really awesome I wanna show you out here. I would love to show you the awesomeness that is the tree trunk inside the actual tabernacle, but I wanna show you guys something else. I know it's not these cool bells out here, though they are really, really awesome. What I wanna show you guys is something right here on the side of the actual church here at the preschool. This is pretty amazing. This is the Ark Preschool here at the tabernacle. And they have taken, upon, taken it upon themselves to really embrace that name of Ark Preschool. Take a look at this. This is a really just interesting roadside oddity, roadside attraction, if you will. Look at that. There is an actual Ark. Noah's Ark is on the side of this building. That is really, really loud. But that is really really awesome. There's two elephants. There are two giraffes. There's a lion and a lamb getting along, having a good time. Not two of each, but still getting along, not, not attacking each other. So two by two animals here. And up there is the dove with the olive branch. It wasn't, wasn't an olive branch. It was a branch. I think Noah sent the, like the dove out to like look for land or something like that, or see if the, see if there was land. Cause obviously the, the whole world was flooded and they came back. Um, it's been a long time since I've studied in the story, but I believe the dove came back or something with the with the branch to, sig to signify that there actually was land and that the, the floods were subsiding. So pretty awesome. It's also a fire apparently going on down there. I actually parked right next to the, the firehouse. Hopefully everything is okay. Hopefully my vehicle is all right. But this is pretty awesome, pretty amazing. As somebody who loves roadside attractions, roadside oddities, I've always been completely fascinated by this arc. I've been walking past this for years. Again, I always park in this area. I parked right, right down there. Vanabelle is right, right there is Vanabelle. So I park down there quite often or park over here quite often. Anytime I do park out here, I always stop to see the amazing arc. I've shown this to my son so many times, friends so many times. I've always just been completely fascinated by this. The arc preschool here, the Ocean City Tabernacle. That is too cool. So if you've actually ever seen this arc, leave a comment down below. Let me hear about your times out here seeing the amazing Ark, seeing Noah's Ark here in Ocean City, New Jersey at the Tabernacle. Look at that, how cool are those animals? Again, the giraffes, the lion, the lamb, the dove, it was a dove, right? Some kind of bird, dove, I believe, and the elephants. I mean, this is too cool. This is how you do 
a church. That is amazing. I just love this kind of thing. I would go to this church. If I had to go to a, if I was looking for a church to go to, tabernacle to attend, I would, I would stay. I would, I would go here. This is, this is where I would go. Not only because it's pretty awesome with the ark. It'd be really cool. It's like, you know, I, I did send my son to Sunday school. I sent him to something like this because that's amazing. That's awesome. But also just the history of this place. The fact that this is the reason why Ocean City is here today. Why Ocean City is what it is today. Because of this tabernacle right here in the tree still resides, maybe dead, but still resides inside there. One of these days, I want to get inside there, into the lobby, and actually see the amazing tree. That is so awesome. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Double video. To, look at that sunset. That's, a, that's, that's amazing. Anyway, double video today. I was out here. As you guys know, you saw the video previous before this. I was out at the It's a Toy Show at Amaze Landing. Had a great time out there. Then came out here to get some pizza. And I figured, let's do a double video today. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the tabernacle and the amazing Noah's Ark on the side. So pretty awesome, pretty cool. But I have some driving to do, so I'm going to get in Vanneville and I'm going to hit the road. So if you guys have ever been out here, if you've actually ever seen the tree inside there, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear all about that. But if you've ever been out here to the amazing Ark at the preschool, at the tabernacle, leave your comments down below. Also, comments down below about Manko and Manko Pizza. And am I insane for driving all the way out here just to get the pizza? Probably, I was already kind of in the area. It was only maybe like a half hour drive. It wasn't that crazy of a drive, but still a half hour drive, half hour drive out here, half hour drive back. So an hour drive total for pizza. I don't think that's too crazy. The pizza's amazing. I don't get to have it that often. So anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. But all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do help supporting the show. Do help, do help support the show. Do help bring us other places like this. So I really do appreciate it, guys. It does mean a whole heck of a lot. But all right, guys, that is just too awesome, too cool smell something skunky in the air and my guess is it's probably not an actual skunk come on we're at a tabernacle guys i don't know who's doing that but anyway so pretty awesome pretty cool like i said if you've been out here leave your comments down below but all right i'm gonna let you guys go so like i said thanks for watching Make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed then i will see you in tomorrow's video again look at that sunset that's amazing all right, what should, um, what should today's hashtag be? Let's do hashtag two by two. There you go. Hashtag two by two. If you watch this video all the way to the very end. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your double video. Thanks for watching the double video today. All right. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.